Good morning. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Cammie and this is Cammie's Closet. Uh, first of all, I want to wish everybody a very happy 4th of July. If you're in the U.S. and you're watching, happy, healthy, and safe 4th of July. It's Monday morning, July 4th, and I'm up bright and early, ready to do a video. I am doing a review of my Tory Birch Robinson Color Block Zip Up Card Case. I'll put the name down below. I just got this recently, maybe about um, two, three weeks ago. Forgive me, I'm not always good with time. I, that's what happens when you get older. And the reason I bought this was because, and I, I, I'll link the unboxing to this if you're interested down below. And I also have a YSL card case, the Chevron card case. I did an unboxing for that and a small review. I'll link that one down below also. I bought this because I was so happy with the YSL card case, but I did mention a con of the YSL card case, and I did say that it'll probably be the same issue with any other zip-up card case. And believe me when I tell you, yesterday I learned what the issue is with this card case. So let me just quickly say that it's beautiful, it's functional, it works for what I got it for. Great mini bags. It's very thin, compact. What I like about this one, I don't know if I've come across any high-end luxury designers that made their zip-up card case with more than five card holders and a zipper. Tory Burch did that. I didn't realize that when I unboxed it. This has 10 card holders. Let me just bring it up to you. It has five in the front here and five on the back. So you could hold 10 cards with this. That is really a plus for this. The colors are beautiful. If you could see, I have my cards in there. I wasn't gonna take the cards out because the pockets are pretty tight. I don't wanna keep putting the cards in and out because I don't wanna stretch the pockets unnecessarily. But the colors are beautiful. There's um, blue and yellow, purple, white, the main color the body of it is in a blue I don't know if you could see it on my camera it has the Tory emblem right here it's a zip up gold hardware nice nice pull tab nice pull tab wasn't so nice yesterday so anyway there's nothing wrong with this I mentioned with the YSL Oh, this one also, I don't remember if the YSL zips all the way around and down. This does. So that's a plus. It goes all the way around and down. So there's more access. That's definitely a plus. I think, if I'm not mistaken, the YSL just zips open across the top and stops here. But I have to look at that again. I'm not sure. But this definitely zips all the way from down to up. The zipper... Um, I'm going to say it's not extremely smooth. And yesterday I had a mishap. I went out yesterday. I went to get my nails done. I went to get my armpits, armpits waxed. I went to get my hair blown out. It was kind of my day of pampering. And usually I don't carry cash. I don't carry cash with me, maybe one or two bills. Maybe I'll have a $20 bill or maybe a 10 and a five. One or two bills, three tops. Um, I usually take cash when I'm going to get gas because I don't want to pay the tax on the credit card. And when I go get my nails done, my hair done, or any of those services, they don't charge tax either if you pay cash. And I like to tip. Obviously, they don't put tipping on a card. So I always take cash when I'm getting my nails done, my hair done, a waxing, whatever. I came out of the waxing room, went to the counter, and they have little envelopes. And I, I had probably about $70 on me, maybe $60 on me. So I only had maybe four bills. It wasn't like a lot of money. <laughs> it was like maybe four bills. And as I said in the previous video, if you saw it, the YSL, you cannot fold your bills in half like this. You can't fold it in half and put it in because it's not tall enough. 
it just just kind of meets where the zipper is so you might get it caught so I didn't fold my bills I was careful I folded it like this so it would be smaller because it was so thick yesterday it it must have moved around inside the case and I'm standing at the counter and I get about halfway down here and I can't get the zipper open and I'm like crap I don't know if it's the zipper that's stuck or it's it stuck on my bills my bills got caught and sure enough can't get it open can't get it open can't I'm sticking my finger in here to try to pull like the bill out so I could put the tip in the envelope and get the hell out of there I actually I was embarrassed I was embarrassed I said one second I'm just gonna go sit over there because I'm having a little problem with my zipper it's stuck so I go sit down and it literally took me about 10 minutes I had to keep sticking my finger in and pushing the bill and pushing the bill and pulling and pulling slowly I didn't want to break the zipper what I ended up doing was ripping three of the bills on the edge ripping three of my bills two 20s and a 10 were ripped not terribly not shredded but they were ripped that shouldn't happen you should never worry about your money getting destroyed in your card case so with that being said I'm going to say that it's extremely functional it holds 10 cards the color is beautiful for the summer that's why I bought it the zip is very smooth if you don't get any cash caught in it, it goes all the way down so it has a good opening but make sure you don't have too much cash with you make sure you don't fold it just in half and put it in and don't have it too thick like this because it'll move around on its own inside and it's going to get caught on the zipper so you have to be cautious with the card cases that zip they were not made um you know high enough they were not thinking because it really only would require not even a quarter of an inch taller maybe like like millimeters taller to make it um, less risky of not being able to put your cash in there or getting your cash caught or, or whatnot um, so I recommend it it's beautiful this in particular this card case holds 10 cards which is great very thin compact it slides right into like probably every mini bag I'm gonna to have to test it in my um, Strathberry Nano tote so that's gonna come up in the future I haven't used it yet I would like to use it probably today it'll go very well with my 4th of July outfit and I'm gonna do a collab with Fuchsia Floyd check out Fuchsia Floyd's videos she does great handbag reviews she's a sweetheart um, we're gonna do a collab because we both have the Strathberry Nano tote and it needs to be reviewed um, so in any case back to this it's beautiful I love it go out and get it don't put a lot of cash in the zipper compartment don't do it one two bills tops maybe three be very careful don't put them this way make sure they're folded small and then you put it in because it was a struggle yesterday it was I was kind of embarrassed and it was a struggle you know here I am I was wearing my YSL bag I pull out my pretty little Tory Burch and I'm standing there at the counter fighting to get the money out so I could tip the girl so that is my quick Tory Burch card case review for today I have a few things to do today I'm gonna to be out and about quickly before I go jewelry of the day I'm moving you forward this is just a, a beaded necklace sterling silver because I only wear sterling really pretty and I had my jeweler add this clasp I, I I felt it was really boring I have this necklace for probably 15 years and it was just a regular lobster claw clasp and I thought it was kind of boring so I had my jeweler 
switch the clasp to one of these like kind of big, you know, chunky clasps. So it gave it a little bit more, you know, a little more interest. Um, hold on a minute, I'm pushing you back. And uh, just my regular watch, my usual. I did switch up this hand. I didn't wear my blue sapphire ring. I am wearing a sterling silver and blue, London blue topaz ring that I bought also on QVC. I don't remember the price. Um, it probably was under a hundred or maybe just at the hundred. This also, I probably have 15 years or so. It's beautiful. It has a dark blue London topaz and then four light blue on the corners and it's sterling silver. What a pretty, pretty ring. I, I, I guess blues, are, I've always been partial to blue from the beginning. I just, I love blue. It's a shame because it's not my birthstone. My birthstone is rather ugly. I'm August and it's peridot and it's kind of like a, a throw up green. I don't know. Anyway, so have a great 4th of July if you're in the U.S. Be safe and I will see you. I'm on a roll with these videos. Like I said, I'm on vacation this week. I'm just spitting them out. Have a great day.